This is a review of the Hemp Ecstasy, a women's gi made by Submission Fight Company. Hemp sucks because it has almost zero levels of THC, but you can use it to make really soft, strong, lightweight kimonos. This IBJJF approved gi is comprised of a lightweight jacket made of a 70-30 blend of hemp and cotton and 10 ounce hemp pants. The Hemp Ecstasy retails for $160 on the Submission Fight Company website. The gi features pink contrast stitching along with green and pink embroidery. The word submission is embroidered across the shoulders and down the sleeves on both sides, which means I like it right away. As we all know, points jujitsu makes unicorns cry. Submissions are everything. With the pink stitching and the cursive font, it's definitely a feminine design without being too girly. The pants have the same color combos along with a pink drawstring and five pink string loops. I had my friend Amber model the fit of the hemp ecstasy. This is a size F3, and Amber said her height is around 5'8", and her weight is- HOW DARE YOU ASK ME THAT?! Submission Fight Company says this is a pre-shrunk gi, but a cold wash and dry on low heat shrunk the sleeves and pants by a couple of inches, so be careful with the dryer. One of the best features of hemp is that it gets even softer after a couple washes. Believe me, it's a pleasure getting cross-faced by someone wearing this. The Hemp Ecstasy has reinforced gussets in the armpits, crotch, and sides, along with a triple stitch seam across the chest. The strong, thick-ish collar has six rows of stitching. The sleeve cuffs are triple stitched, and the pant cuffs have four rows of pink stitching. All that combined with the extra strength of hemp means this gi should hold up to tons of abuse. There was one spot on the sleeve cuff where the stitching looked a little wobbly, but other than that, it was nice and uniform throughout the gi. Now even though I look amazing in pink, I thought it would be best to have a woman do the test roll. I'm going to let Amber give you her thoughts during this segment. Alright, so like, what were just your first impressions of the gi? It was super comfortable, super soft. Um, the top fit really well for totally different than a guy's gi. Oh really? Yeah, I feel like it comes over the chest more, and so it keeps tight a little bit easier than the guy's gi's. Okay, and how tall are you? 5'8 and a half, 5'9. Okay, and that's an F3. Yeah. Okay, so just for sizing yep. purposes. Um, what was it like to roll it? It was nice. I really liked the top. Um, it felt like a really good length. It didn't get caught underneath like some of these do. Uh, the pants are a little big. Because they're wide. The yeah, they're wide. I feel that it's almost cut too low oh, okay. for a woman. Uh, and yeah, I just felt like I was sometimes having to pull them up, even though I had it like tied really tight. Yeah. So, how did, um, like I always, I'm kind of obsessed with like how collars feel. Yeah. Like how did you feel like when I latched on you? Do you feel like you could break grips or was it too soft? Or? I actually thought it was a pretty nice collar. Yeah. I feel like I could break it, yeah. yeah. Um, it's not too thick where I feel it'd be hard to grab, but it's not too thin like someone could just clamp on and yeah. not let me break it. Yeah. So. The weird thing is not have a ton of experience with hemp keys is that when I grab a hold of the collar, like it's soft. And so I could grab it, but that hemp feels a little slick, so I had a hard time. Yeah, I noticed it. that. Yeah, when you popped my grip, yeah. I was like, oh, I didn't think I... Yeah, I noticed it was like... Yeah, because it actually feels pretty thin, like when you're just yeah. grabbing it, it's like super soft. I think you're right, it has a slick feel to it. Yeah, it's, it's hard for me to hold on to. Yeah, like this. compared to a regular cotton gi. Yeah. What about the looks of it? How do you like it? I really like it. I think it looks pretty dope. It's a sharp gi. Yeah, I mean, I like the green and pink, so... Yeah. They didn't go too girly, yeah. which I like, but they put a little girly And the trim on the sides kind of cool again. Yeah, I love the trim on the sides. Yeah, and the contrast is really cool. Yeah, and green. I really like the pink and green together. Yeah. So kind of overall, just... Really... Overall, I think it's a good gi. Yeah, I think they're definitely on the right track. Yeah. Like I said, the top's great, and the pants, I think if I wore them a couple more times, I could figure out how to tie them best. Yeah. But overall, they were super comfy. Yeah. Like, I never felt like I couldn't move. And so it's like, I felt like I could roll and no impingement anywhere, so that was nice. Right. So with like being able to actually roll in a women's cut gi, like do you think you would want women's gis? Yeah, or? I think so. Yeah. Just I think guys' gis are a little bit more like just very straight up and down where guys are more like that and girls are more curvy. Yeah. So I think it's nice to just have something that's built for curves yeah. a little bit more. I know I'm a man, which automatically means I don't know anything ever, but I really like this ski. It's strong, soft, and well-made. 
The hemp and cotton blend in the jacket makes it comfortable and breathable while also giving it a little more structure. Common complaints about hemp material is that it's just too floppy, but the hemp ecstasy doesn't feel like that at all. Hemp is a fantastic material and, considering its higher cost compared to cotton, it's really not a bad deal for $160.